It's maybe one of the strangest sights you'll ever see at such a high altitude. In a remote corner of the Peruvian Andes, men are hard at work painting a mountain peak. It's the first step in an experimental plan to recuperate Peru's melting Andean glaciers. The man behind the idea is not a glaciologist, but an inventor, Eduardo Gold. I really hope that this could regrow a glacier here, because we are recreating all the climactic conditions necessary for a glacier to form. The idea is that when sunlight is reflected off a white or light-coloured surface, solar energy passes back through the atmosphere and out into space, rather than warming the Earth's surface and contributing to the greenhouse effect. The paint is environmentally friendly, made from lime, industrial egg white and water. And plastic jugs, rather than paintbrushes, are used to return this extinct glacier to its original colour. The workers plan to paint the whole summit, some 20 hectares, an area ten times bigger than what they've painted so far. This project has given hope to the local village, Lecapa, that it may soon be able to replenish its water supply, which has dwindled since the glacier melted. All the peaks here should be painted in this way. That way there would be water like there was before the glacier disappeared. And that would mean enough for pasture and livestock. Some glaciologists have dismissed the idea that this project can somehow slow or reverse glacial melt caused by global warming. Peru's environment minister is among the skeptics. I think there are much more interesting projects which would have more impact in mitigating climate change. And that's where this money should be invested. But if Mr. Gold's project succeeds in pushing down the temperature, he plans to expand it to Peru's most threatened glacial regions on a large scale.